What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub, and, sub button to be notified for future, future readings. This is a free general collective reading, caps to excite to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will, only take the messages that resonate. This is a oracle card reading for the sign of cancer. This could resonate if you have cancer in any aspects of your charts. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Moon, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. I just want to throw that out there real quick. We're at 12,155 subscribers right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the best. I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, I got several channel messages in as I was, um, I heard cancer next. And then I sat here. I was chillaxing for a while, like 15, 20 minutes. I got several channeled in, so I'll share them. But um, obviously, it was time to do Cancer next. This is an Oracle card reading for mid-April of 2022. Um, we're April 17th of 2022 right now. I'm doing them as I'm being guided by spirit to do them. So that's why I'm doing Cancers now. Like I said, this could resonate if you have cancer in any aspects of your charts. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. One message may resonate. Two plus may resonate. None may resonate. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So please don't force the messages if they don't resonate. Okay? Um, oh, yeah. That was it. That was it. Um, let me deliver the messages. Um, okay. So the first one I heard was bread box, which... I know what a bread box is. That's all I heard was the first one was bread box. Um, but I thought maybe there was another meaning to it that I was not familiar. So I Googled the term bread box. Now, a bread box, for anybody doesn't know, it is a storage container you put your bread in. Now, some people put it in the refrigerator, um, like me, but other people use bread boxes, which is a, just a container you put your bread in. Um, that was the first one I heard. The second one I heard was bigger than a bread box. So I didn't, was not familiar with that either. So I looked that up as well. So bigger than a bread box means saying that something is bigger than a bread box tells the listener that the speaker does not have a clear idea about the size of a thing, but that he is he or she is certain that it, whatever the thing is, is substantial enough to be reckoned with. So that is what the term bigger than a bread box means. That was the second thing I heard. So I'll read it again. Now, these messages could be for you or somebody you're connected to, possibly. Um, only you know your story, not anybody else. But So you plug it in, how it resonates. Saying that something is bigger than a bread box tells the, tells the listener that the speaker does not have a clear idea about the size of the thing, but that he or she is certain that it, whatever the thing is, is substantial enough to be reckoned with. So I'm thinking maybe somebody didn't think you were worthy of something or somebody else wasn't worthy or something or that they wasn't powerful in their own way um, or you wasn't powerful in your own way, but they're starting to realize they are or you're starting to realize somebody is. However, that resonates cancer. Um, that's what I'm taking from that, that. Um, I've never heard the term bigger than a bread box before, but that's what I'm taking from the definition of it. But you plug it into your own life story, however it resonates, if it does resonate um, for you. Um, and then bread box. So maybe one of you guys is going to buy a bread box or you are discussing bread boxes. I don't know, you guys. Some of these channel messages, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so... Then the third one I heard was, um, uh, uh, sorry, um, oh, um, unexpected legal action coming. That is what I heard. Some, ha some has already come, some it's about to come. Unexpected legal action coming, some it's about, uh, some it's already come, some it's about to come. So that could be for you or somebody you're connected to. It sounds like for some, unexpected legal action has already come in the universe. Um, some is about to come. It could be you precipitating this unexpected legal action or someone um, you're connected to precipitating this unexpected legal action. Um, how that resonates. Um, but some kind of unexpected legal action in the universe. For some of you guys, 
it sounds like it's already come. Um, it could be for you or somebody you're connected to that's already come in the universe. For some, it's about to come. It could be for you or somebody you're connected to about to come in the universe. Uh, we've had a lot of legal in here. A lot of legal this round, a lot of legal and many signs, not just yours, many signs, um, many. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, but some kind of unexpected legal action. And those are the ones I heard. So bread box, bigger than bread box, bigger than that. Ah, I can't speak. Ah, it's not even Mercury retrograde. Bread box, bigger than a bread box, unexpected legal action. It's some's already come, some is about to come. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. Um, I might have to get up here in a few minutes and check on my uh, broccoli and cheese tots. Um, I have baking in the oven. So I just want to make everybody aware of that. If I get up unexpectedly, just saying. Okay. I hope everybody is doing well. If you think anyone uh, would like my channel or um, would like the messages, um, if you uh, if you feel free to share my channel on your social media or word of mouth, I'd very much appreciate it. Um, it helps a single mama, a two kids income stream. So I truly uh, appreciate that if you decide to share my channel. Hope everybody is doing well in this full moon and Libra energy. Spirit messages you have sign of cancer. A cancer masculine is about to have a very angry air sign. Holy crap. Very angry air sign feminine coming towards them very soon for some. For some, a very angry earth sign feminine coming towards them very soon. Some major truth has already been exposed. Some is about to be exposed. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I don't know if y'all saw this, but wow. Um, maybe one of you guys is dealing with someone with addictions or you have addictions or you are emotional about a situation or someone you're connected to is emotional about a situation or emotional about you or you are, you are emotional over person, people, place, or situation. When that occurs in the reading, it can signify you being emotional or someone you're connected to being emotional or you having addictions or someone you're connected to having having addictions. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. I didn't want to move because I was getting a channeling, but you plug it in how it resonates. So you're, if that particular message resonates with you, spirit messages you have for sign of cancer. Um, you are cancer masculine, and for some, it just happened again. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys, double confirmation in the reading. Twice it's already happened, and we're only eight minutes in. Just saying, just saying. But you plug that in, however it resonates. Um, you're a Cancer Masculine, and um, you're dealing with an Air Sign Femme or a Earth Sign Femme, or for some it could be maybe both. I didn't hear both, but for some it could be. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But I heard soon this Air Sign Femme or this Earth Sign Femme, spirit messages you have for this, um, for Cancer, um, is going to come towards you. Angrily, I heard angrily, um, because some truth, serious truth has already been exposed in some of these situations, and for some, it's about some serious truth is about to be exposed. But it sounds like this air sign film or this um, earth sign film does not want it exposed. So they're coming towards you angry because it's being exposed. Maybe you are the one exposing it or has exposed it, or they just want to vent to you because it has been exposed or is about to be exposed. However, that resonates in one's life. Cancer masculine. You are a cancer masculine. So if that resonates for you. Spirit messages you have sign cancer. So um, only you know you're showing out anybody else. Um, air signs or Gemini Libra Aquarius. They could have Gemini Libra Aquarius and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, hammer, Jupiter, Taurus. That's Gemini Libra Aquarius Femme. Or a Earth Sun fan, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Feminine. They could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, hammer, Jupiter, charts. Cancer, however that resonates for you, Cancer Masculine.
Spirit messages you have for Sonic Cancer. Holy moly. Okay. Well, I usually only take three, but I got four this round. So for you guys, so I'll take them. Okay, so we have forest, uh, muddled, unclear thinking, fair woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair, archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up, pig, beware, greed. A very, very, very high position, high authority, cancer masculine has really been doing some very nasty deeds with a prostitute. They are about to be exposed. Some of these can cancer masculines are lawyers. Some, they are judges. Some they are nurses. Some they work in investment banking. Oh my God! Whoa! You plug it in, how it resonates. I heard stock market just now. Oh, cancer masculine energy heavy in here, but high up cancer masculine energy. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So if this message resonates for you, I feel you're either a nurse. Now, a nurse could be an LPN, LVN, RN, nurse anesthesiologist, certified nurse practitioner. I mean, there's many scopes in, of nursing, just saying. You could either be a nurse, uh, um, a heard investment banking stock market, um, a lawyer or a judge. How this plugs in, but you're a cancer masculine in one of these career fields is what I'm feeling here. Um, but I heard you've been messing around with a prostitute. Um, but it's about to be very publicly exposed soon. So, um, however that resonates there, you guys, yikes. One, you work in manufacturing. And you're about to acquire a huge STD. One, you work in manufacturing and you're about to acquire a huge STD. Um, so you guys love prostitution. I'll tell you that. Whoever you are, cancer masculine. You love some prostitution. Way too many. Way too many. So I'll start again. You love prostitution. Whether you're a nurse, uh, prostitutes. You love prostitutes. Um, paying for some nookie, uh, which I think is ridiculous. Um, if you're going to give some nookie, you shouldn't have to make somebody pay for it. That's the way I look at it. But it is what it is. Um, you're either um, work in manufacturing in some shape, form, or fashion, a um, investment banker, stock market area, um, a nurse, a uh, judge, or lawyer. But um, you pay for sex. You pay for sex. Somehow it's about to be very publicly exposed. Um, however, in the world that resonates, cancer masculine. Here are messages you have for this cancer. And one of you guys is about to get an STD from it. I think it might be the person that works in manufacturing, but it might be. It might be any of these people, possibly. Um, cancer masculines, possibly. You plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages you have for cancer. Beauty and focus. A cancer feminine alcoholic is about to lose a huge bet soon. A deal with a bookie may become deadly soon. Really dealing with the wrong people. Oh my gosh, what is the crap? Spirit messages you have a sign of cancer. 
Wow, you guys, dear God. So if this message resonates for you, it could be you or it could be another cancer fem you're dealing with. Um, just because you're a cancer don't mean a cancer fem means that it's for you. It could be another cancer fem you're dealing with. However, this person applies in your life, but it's a cancer feminine. And um, I heard they're an alcoholic. They're an alcoholic and um, they basically, um, they're a huge gambler and an alcoholic, it sounds like. And I heard they basically are dealing with the wrong person or people. It sounds like this bookie is a wrong person or people. Um, I heard they're about to lose a huge bet and it's about, it might possibly become deadly soon. So I think they might not have money to pay the bookie. And maybe the bookie puts a hit out on their ass, possibly. I didn't hear that. That's just my deductive log logic and reasoning with this. Possibly for some of these cancer feminines. Um, but they're the whoever this cancer fem is in your life, they are a cancer feminine. They have cancer in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, midheaven, or Jupiter charts. But they, um, they're an alcoholic and a gambler. So they have at least two addictions in the universe. They might have more, but... They're about to lose a huge bet. It's not a baby bet, a huge bet. And um, I heard they, um, it's somehow this bookie is a negative influence in their life. I think the bookie might put a hit out on their ass. Um, and I'm serious. Somehow they're deal, 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 dealing very heavily with the bookie. So how, whatever, whoever this cancer feminine is, um, you might be dealing with a air sign or a water sign cancer because you have air sign and water sign energy in here. Swan spirit and starfish spirit. If you are, they got Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Thumb, and or Jupiter charts, possibly. One of you guys, one of your cancer masculines definitely is dealing with the air sign. Bim. For sure. I heard in here earlier. Um, about to come angrily towards you. Because some kind of truth has already been exposed. In some situations, some it's about to be exposed. So, just saying. Um, and for some, you could be dealing with the water sign as well. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, possibly. You plug in and how it resonates. Also, number 60, 59, 52, or 50 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 60, 59, 52, or 50. They could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number. Possible date of birth number. Possible green card number. Possible jersey number. 60, 59, 52, or 50. This is definitely someone's age in here. You know this. Confirmations all over the place. Oh, my Lord. Whoa. Okay, I heard this is definitely someone's age in here. Um, you know this. Uh, confirmations all over the... All, 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 I cannot speak. All over the place in here. I think somebody doesn't want me to speak about this. I'm serious. My words are just jumbling up. Um, somebody doesn't want me to speak on this. Um, and I'm serious. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates, but one of you guys, it's your, one of these numbers. I feel is your age because I heard from the spiritual realm. It is one of your ages. So one of you guys is either 60, 59, 52 or 50. Um, whoever you are and how this applies in your life. Um, I heard, you know, it is, um, and confirmations all over the place. So maybe one of the previous messages has already resonated with you possibly. But only you know your story, not anybody else. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Let me go check on my broccoli and cheese tots. Okay, so sorry about that. Okay, so yeah. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Okay. Swan spirit, time for a deep dive. A particular cancer is about to view a very significant, very significant body cam footage videos very soon. They're going to realize what was told to them in the past was not the truth. They're going to realize someone is not going to let this go and they are right as they shouldn't. It's going to cause this cancer, very, 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 very high position of high authority cancer to talk to a certain board. 
display the truth because they know it is important because if they don't, it will go very, very, very public and they're right, it will. Settlement energy. Holy crap, so you plug it in how it resonates, Cancer. You're a very, 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 very high position of authority, whoever you are, masculine or feminine energy. Um, but it sounds like you're about to view some significant body cam, vi uh, body cam videos. It sounds like it's two plus in the universe, so it might be on two different situations or two different videos of the same situation. However, that applies in one's life. But you're a very, very, very high position of authority. Somehow, it sounds like you have the authority to view these video uh, videos. Um, but I heard, it's not, I heard you were told something that was not true in the past about these this situation. Um, but it sounds like you're about to view it actually through the body cam video or videos and realize you were lied to. Realize you were lied to and um, that what you were told in the past was not true because you're actually about to see what happened in the body cam video or videos or videos. Um, and I heard it's going to cause you to take great action to talk to some kind of board. Now, whatever board it is and however that applies in one's life, um, because I heard, it, you know, if you don't talk to this board, it's going to go very, very public because I'm assuming the person in the video or videos is not going to let it go. And I heard you're right. They're not. Um, so you plug it in however it resonates um, in one's life, um, cancer. Um, I heard um, t t uh, settlement energy. So um, I think you're about to work to help get someone a settlement in some shape, form, or fashion because I don't think you want... I think you might work in the legal sector. I think you might be a judge. I think you might be a lawyer. I think you might be a judge or a lawyer is what I'm thinking. I didn't hear you were, but I feel you might be a judge or a lawyer. Um, but you don't want it to go very public. It's it's kind of like, remember when I posted, uh, when I got that channel message about significant body cam videos in the universe, and then I got the the one from Denver, Colorado, of that teeny bopper, 18-year-old teenager lying on the officer um, saying she got out of the DO, D, DUI because he won date her, basically. Um, she completely lied on him, slandered his name, defamation of character. It was it was terrible. And the in the in my opinion, the police force in Denver, Colorado, should have released that to exonerate his name, and they did because it was not true. Um, but in this case, it's opposite. It's like the city or the state or the people involved on the other end, not the citizen, doesn't want it to be released because they know it's going to look badly upon them, basically, is what I'm feeling here. Because I heard you're about to work with the board to get a settlement because you don't want these videos get out. I think you're afraid it's going to go to trial or... I think that one, you're afraid it's going to go to trial. And two, I think, you know, the citizen or citizens has this body cam footage. And if something doesn't get done, they're going to display it. They're going to um, display it um, because they know they know what happened because they've seen the body cam footage probably, too, just like you're about to. And they I'm thinking somebody's liberties got stomped and treaded on is what I'm feeling. I think somebody's liberties got stomped and freaking treaded on. Um, unlike the 18 year old teeny bopper that just basically def defamed that poor officer's character, this is opposite. Um, but it sounds like the city is trying to hide it or the state is trying to hide it or somebody is trying to hide it. Uh, but it doesn't sound like it's going to be hit, but I think you're highly intuitive and you know, this cancer, very, very high position, high authority. So I think you're about to work, help get a settlement for this person or people in this situation because you know, they, they're not going to let it go. I heard in here, you know, they're not going to let it go and you're right. And in, in all fairness, it sounds like they shouldn't let it go. Whatever it is. I'm serious. So time for deep dive, I think, is you really getting in there and working to, hard to get this person or people a settlement for this. Um, something happened out in the universe involving officer or officers and citizen or citizens. And it was not right. It was stomping on person or people's rights and liberties all day long. I didn't hear that. That's just my intuitive logic and reasoning on this. Open, open to infinitive possibilities. A particular cancer masculine will be subpoenaed. He does not want to be subpoenaed, but he will be if, if correct action does not align in the universe. 
Okay. Whoa. I heard a cancer masculine will be subpoenaed if correction correct action does not be aligned and is not aligned in the universe. A lot of cancer masculine energy in here. Maybe I, I think maybe a lot of my cancer viewers are masculine. Because uh, I mean, man, you plug it in how it resonates. I'm serious. I feel a lot of you guys are masculine energies. Why am I picking up so much cancer masculine energy? I'm serious about that. Um, I heard a cancer masculine. I think this is a different cancer masculine, but you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a cancer masculine will be subpoenaed if correct action in the universe does not um, come forward in the universe, basically. It doesn't sound like he wants to be subpoenaed, but I heard he will be if, um, if basically something does not align correctly in the universe. Um, sounds like if things work out, he will not be subpoenaed. But if he is, if things do not, he will be subpoenaed. And he really, 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 really does not want to be subpoenaed. He does not want anything to do with it because he knows what he, he knows what he's done in the past. But he should have never got himself into this situation. Okay, I heard he really, really, really does not want to be subpoenaed, but he know because he knows what he's done in the past. But um, he should, in all fairness, should have never got himself in the situation. So whoever this cancer masculine is, and however this applies in his life, but I heard he will be subpoenaed if basically there is not an alignment in the universe. Sounds like if there is an alignment in the universe and other series of chain of events occur, then he will not be subpoenaed. But if it doesn't occur, he will be subpoenaed. So you plug it in how it resonates. That's at least for one cancer masculine in the universe. I don't, I feel it's a different one. Starfish spirit open to infinite possibility. A cancer feminine is about to have a whole new world. Recently moved. New life, new start. Do it right this time. Oh, well, that's a good one. So you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a Cancer Femme has recently moved. So if this resonates for you, if you're a Cancer Feminine, you have recently moved. It sounds like you've moved pretty far locations from where you were because I heard whole new world, fresh start, do it right, basically. So... I think it's further enough way away from wherever in the world you were previously for you to have a fresh start. You know, it's not like you move 20 minutes away or 10 minutes away or 45 minutes away and people still jabbing their, their jaws. I think you're moving far, far away from the person, people, places, and situations that you were at previously. So you could have a fresh start. New people, new faces, new places, etc. I think that's the, for whoever that's for, I think that's the whole primary reason why you move to begin with. But I heard basically do it right this time. Um, do it right this time. So I think you move for strategic reasons. Um, but basically make smart decisions, whoever you are, Cancer Femme. Um, congrats to whoever you are. Um, I heard new people, places, and situations. So basically, you know, do it right this time. Um, whatever in the world didn't go right in the past, I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But, you know, it's a new opportunity, fresh slate. So basically, you know, manifest and grow it in a positive way for you, you know. Um, whoever you are, Cancer Fem, you could have Cancer in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts, but open to infinite, in, infinite possibilities is basically you manifesting the correct person, people, places, and situations positively for you because you are around completely new people now. So congrats to you, whoever you are. Let's see. A cancer feminine applied for a position in their company. They, they do not think they're going to get it because of very competitive, backbiting people that have applied as well. But you are about to get the position. You very much deserve it. Well, that's a good one, too. Whoever you are, cancer fem. Just saying. Okay, so whoever you are, cancer fem, I heard you applied for a, it sounds like a very competitive position in your company. Sounds like everybody and their mama wants this position. <coughs> Excuse me. And obviously, including you, it sounds like it's a good position, in all fairness. But I heard 
you know several other people, backbiter, malicious, gossiper, Gail, gospel, Gary energies, basically have applied for this position as well, not only you. I heard you don't think you're going to get the position, but I heard you're about to. Uh, it sounds like it's going to shock the hell out of you, but I heard you deserve it. So congrats to whoever that's for, Cancer Femme. Um, so open to infinite possibility in that aspect is basically a fresh start, new position. You know, don't abuse your power. Use it in an appropriate fashion. Um, utilize your position and status in a positive manner, Cancer Femme, whoever you are. I heard you didn't think you were going to get it, but you are. So basically, you know, don't abuse your power. Use it in a positive light side manner. Congrats to whoever that's for. It doesn't sound like you've got the position yet, but you're about to. Uh, beauty. Skincare regimen is about to, become, about to become very significant for a particular cancer, masculine and feminine. Okay, I heard skincare regimen is about to become very significant for a particular cancer, femme and cancer, masculine. So if this resonates for you, cancer, femme or masculine, I think you're about to focus um, on some good skincare products. I don't know if you're about to make them yourself or you're about to invest in them um, through purchasing them. Um, however that resonates in one's life. Um, so beauty in this aspect is the skincare regimen, whether you're doing it yourself or you are purchasing it, however that resonates. A particular can cancer's Amazon account is about to be suspended. It is about to shock the hell out of you. Oh, my Lord. I heard a particular cancer's um, Amazon account is about to be suspended. It's about to shock the hell out of you. So you plug it in how it resonates, cancer. I don't have an Amazon account. I don't have one. So I don't, I'm not familiar with that because I don't have an Amazon account. Um, so, but one of you guys does. One of you guys has an Amazon account. I heard it's about to get suspended. Uh, it's going to shock the hell out of you. So maybe you've been buying too much beauty supplies or maybe you're not paying your bill or I don't know. I don't have an Amazon account, so I, I don't know. But at least one of you guys in the universe, your, your Amazon account's about to be suspended. It's about to shock the hell out of you. You plug it in, how it resonates. Focus. A significant forest fire on a wildlife preserve is about to become very significant in a cancer cancer firefighter's life soon. Very serious fire. It's about to lead to a huge investigation. Possible arson. Holy crap. Wow. There has been so much fire in my readings lately. Today, the Daily T, there was some crazy... Um, Suck it, feminine, suck it, well, I didn't hear they were succubuses, but I feel they were succubus energies. Um, them energy, fire, magic, sex, magic, wielding people out there. Um, somebody's space is about to blow, um, not blow up, but catch on fire because they're doing so much sex magic and fire magic. Um, and then I had a reading about um, a crazy family's land's about to blow up in flames, basically, because of a cigarette butt, but it's negative karma because they're trying to take some um, a family member's plot of land because they don't like them. So, I mean, there's been a lot of fire in my readings recently. So, you plug it in how it resonates, but if this resonates for you, you are a cancer firefighter. You can be masculine or feminine cancer firefighter. Sounds like you're going to be called to this call. I heard it's a very significant forest fire in a wildlife preserve. Now, whatever wildlife preserve that is and how that um, applies in one's life, but you are a cancer firefighter, masculine or feminine. Um, and it sounds like you're either about to be called on this call for, um, for this forest fire, this wildlife preserve, or maybe you are, maybe you're an arson investigator that's going to be called out because I heard it's, um, it's about to turn into a huge thing. It, it sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like the fire hasn't happened yet. 
Uh, but it sounds like when it does happen, you could, I feel you could either be the arson investigator or you could be the firefighter caught out on the call or something of that nature. But you're definitely a firefighter. Um, and you're going to be dealing with this in some shape, form, or fashion, whether you're an arson investigator or the physical firefighter out on the call. Um, but I heard they're going to suspect arson with this. Um, and it's about to turn into a huge thing when it does occur. It sounds like it hasn't occurred yet. But it's a very significant, um, large fire, forest fire. I mean, it's a freaking forest fire in a uh, wildlife preserve. Now, whatever wildlife preserve that is, it sounds like it hasn't happened in the universe yet, but it sounds like it's going to. So... But I think you're going to be focused to either put the fire out or focused to find out if it really was arson or not. Um, however that resonates in one's life, cancer firefighter. I hope you find out what the crap happened um, when it does happen. It sounds like it hasn't happened yet. A cancer masculine is dating someone in their workspace. They're about to cut it off very, very, very soon. Too much drama. Oh, okay. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Let me go get my tots out. I've already turned them off. Let me go get them out. Be right back. Okay, so sorry. Okay, so I heard a cancer masculine, uh, not, no, no, not a cancer masculine, a cancer um, is dating um, someone in their workspace. I feel you could be masculine or feminine, but I heard you're about to cut it off because it's too much drama. So I think you're about to be focused on your career, your career, your job, or however that resonates in one's life, cancer, masculine, or femme, because it's, it's causing too much drama. And I don't blame you because I've only dated one person in my life in my workspace ever, and I was um, 18. And I dated, I was his supervisor um, when that happened, and he was the employee, he was an employee under me when we started dating. I was 18, and he was um, 17, and um, we worked together two years before I even agreed to date, date him. But even when that, even with the, that dynamic, um, it was still a huge mistake. Um, I would never, ever, ever date anybody ever again because of that. I mean, good Lord, that's been 20 years for me. But I think back on that and all the mistakes I made. And I would never want to do it again. So um, kudos to you, whoever you are. It does. It causes way too much drama. Or it did for me. Forest, muddled, unclear thinking. A Capricorn is about to become very, very significant in a Cancer's life. And a Leo. And a Libra. And a Virgo. Okay. I heard a, um, a Capricorn, a Leo, a Libra, and a Virgo is about to become very, very significant in a Cancer's life soon. So, um, how this resonates in one's life, Cancer, um, you could be, um, these could be masculine or feminine energies, Caps. Libra, Leo, Virgo. They have Caps, Libra, Leo, or Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midhammer, Jupiter charts, masculine or feminine, but they're about to become very significant in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. And a Pisces. And a Pisces. And a Pisces. So Caps, Libra, Leo, Virgo, Pisces. Um, however, this resonates and applies in one's life, Cancer. One of these people could be significant in your life, Cancer, two plus. However, this resonates in your own life because there's ton of people that view these videos, so you have to plug it in how it resonates. Muddled, unclear thinking. A particular cancer is about to go through serious, serious, serious financial issues. Serious. About to have very, uh, very high bills soon. Okay. 
some the new location, some unexpected legal expenses, and a lot of them. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, so I think you're about to have muddled, unclear thinking because um, your expenses are about to go up in some shape, form, or fashion. Like, um, for some, I feel it could be cost of living because um, some of you guys just recently moved. Some cancer fans just recently moved, like location, like physical locations. So, you know, I think cost of living is higher wherever you're at now um, for some of you guys. So that could be some of the high bills. Um, maybe the rent is higher. Maybe the home prices are higher. Um, Food's higher, gas higher, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I think that's some of the um, some of the in, uh, expense increase for some. Um, for some, I heard it's unexpected legal expenses and a lot of them. Um, and we heard in one of the original um, channel messages at the beginning that there was some kind of legal um, legal action about to be taken, whether you're taking it or somebody's taking it against you. So. Um, for at least one of you guys, somebody's taking legal action against you. Um, and so I think you're about to lawyer up. And I don't think you're about to get a public defender. I think you're about to lawyer, lawyer up. Um, because I think you're about to be under a time frame to lawyer up. So, I mean, I guess for some you could get public defenders, but I think you're feeling the need to get a lawyer, lawyer, like a private lawyer. Um, and I think it's about to be way more expensive than you wanted it to be. So it's about to make your money go in that tank down in a huge way. It's about to have you have muddled, unclear thinking um, because your money is about to go down, down, down. And this also could be that alcoholic um, gambler problem, cancer too, where they're about to lose this huge ass bet and um, the bookie uh, might be coming after their ass. Um, just saying, just saying. I do. I feel this might be the bookie creating negative series of chain events for this uh, cancer, alcoholic, and gambler person, possibly. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Let me see if I hear anything else. A cancer did not believe a Leo feminine had true abilities in the past, but they're about to get a huge ass wake up call. Huge. It's about to create them, uh, cause them to create many series of chain of events that they never thought they would. Okay, Cancer. Um, so you can be masculine or femme Cancer. You could have Cancer in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Mid, Hammer, Jupiter charts. But I heard you did not believe a Leo fem feminine really did have abilities in the past. Um, I'm thinking it might be a Leo feminine reader. Um, if it's not a Leo femme reader, if she's not clairaudient, clairvoyant, she has some kind of abilities, whether she's a reader or not, is what I'm saying. So if she's a reader, she can have clairaudient uh, abilities, clairvoyant abilities, psychic medium abilities, dreamscape abilities, or one or all one or two plus of those things. If she's a reader, you can have those kind of abilities and not read. And that's just the truth. So she could be a reader or she could not be a reader. But however that resonates, she has some kind of abilities. I'm thinking in the psychic medium realm. Um, and I'm just being for real, for real. She has some kind of abilities. You didn't believe that she had them in the past, but you're about to get a huge ass wake up call. She does. I think she's a reader and I think she has a public platform out in the universe. And I think you're about to review one of her videos or listen to a reading or get service or services from her and realize that she does truly have abilities because she's about to tell you something or say something to you that it is about to come true or is true in your own life. And it's about to shock the hell out of you, is what I'm thinking. Um, how this resonates in one's life, Cancer. But I heard um, you're about to realize she truly does have abilities. And um, it's about to cause you to take many series of chain of make. It's gonna, about to cause you, Cancer, to make many series of chain of events in your own life. So whatever the many series of chain of events you're about to create in your own life, because you realize she truly does have abilities. I think you laughed and hee-hawed and made fun of her in the past. Um, is exactly what I think. But now you're about to realize she truly does have abilities. Um, and now you're going to take some action in your own life. How, how that applies in one's life. And that could be the muddled, unclear thinking too. Um, I didn't hear that you laughed and hee-hawed and um, made fun of her in the past. But I am feeling you did. And I'm just being serious about that. I do. I think you're confused. 
or was confused. But now you're about to be very, very clear on the fact that she does have abilities in some shape, form, or fashion. It's a Leo feminine. She could have Leo in her sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, hammer, Jupiter charts. I strongly feel she might be a reader. I didn't hear she was, but she might be. If she's not, she just has some kind of abilities in some shape, form, or fashion. She is definitely gifted in some shape, form, or fashion. How that resonates. Fair woman dealing a relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. A cancer is about to very heavily deal with an investigator very soon. One cancer is not going to want to deal with this investigator. One is definitely going to want to deal with this investigator. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Investigator energy. So you can be masculine or femme cancer. One of you guys, it sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It's about to. One of you guys is sounds like you're free willingly going to want to deal with this investigator. I think you might call this investigator. Um, I think I heard you want to deal with them. So I think you're going to initiate contact with them or someone to connect with them. Um, one, you want to free willingly connect with them. One, you don't. I heard you really, really, really don't. So one, you're about to connect with this investigator and you don't want to connect with them. But I think it's because you have been dealing, doing some nasty, shicey shit or, or you're afraid you might go down for something um, that you know about some in the past. But to be honest with you, for the one that doesn't want to deal with the investigator, it might, you might as well just be honest. Be honest because it's going to come out anyways. If you're honest, yes, you might get in trouble, but at least it might be lesser. It might be lesser, like a plea deal energy kind of thing. Um, and I'm serious about that. Um, hopefully that helps at least one cancer in the universe over here. But one free willingly really does want to talk to the investigator. So who how you have to plug yourself in in this scope however you resonate cancer masculine or feminine do you want to deal with the investigator or do you not want to deal with the investigator if i was in this situation i'd be spilling all the beans because i mean i'm not in this situation but if i was i'd be spilling all the beans because it's eventually going to come out anyways if it's not from you it's from somebody else and i'm being serious because if they're talking to you they're talking to many 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 people over here low vibrational cancer I feel this is a high vibrational cancer. This is low, low vibrational cancer. And I'm serious. So it, it's smart just to spill it all because if you don't, somebody else is about to. And I'm, I mean, somebody needs to hear this. And I'm serious about that. Whoever you are, masculine or femme cancer. I feel this is the investigator person. I feel it's either, I feel it's a femme energy or a masculine that takes on femme energy. And I feel they either have um, blonde, gray, or white hair. However that resonates in one's life. I, it can, you know, everybody takes a mask and a femme energy, so it's coming off as a feminine energy, but it could be a femme energy or a masculine that takes on heavy femme. But I do think they have blonde, gray, or white hair in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I just heard salt and pepper for one. Salt and pepper for one. So one of them has salt and pepper hair or is about to have salt and pepper hair. It sounds like there's about, there's about to be two plus investigators out in the universe in these situations. I feel several of you guys are about to deal with investigators. Some you're going to want to, some you're not going to want to. But at least one of these, and I feel that might be confirmation for one of you guys. One of these investigators is going to have salt and pepper hair. So, you know, dark and gray hair or dark and white hair. Um, however that resonates. Salt and pepper as type hair. Masculine or feminine. However that resonates in one's life, I feel that's confirmation for one of you guys because it hasn't happened yet. So however that resonates high vibrational cancer or low vibrational cancer one wants to one wants to talk to the investigator one doesn't however that resonates archway new opportunities possibilities and paths opening up a very young very very young Feminine energy is about to come into a older Cancer Feminine, 35 and above Cancer Feminine's life soon in her workspace. It is about to piss her off. People are really going to love her. Oh, my Lord. You plug it in. How it resonates. Oh, my. So, you're 35 or above Cancer Femme, and I heard a very young 
feminine energy is about to come into your workspace soon. It's going to piss you off because many people are going to love her. So it sounds like um, maybe you were the cat's meow in your work workspace in the past. And maybe she's about to become the cat's meow is what I'm feeling here. Her, she's very young. Um, but you're 35 or above. So, you know, I'm 38. So I understand um, this part. You're not a spring chicken. Um, whatever age you are, 35 or above cancer femme, I get it. I'm 38. I'm not a spring chicken either. Um, but you're definitely not a spring chicken. But I think she is. Or very young. So I'm thinking like 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Maybe I didn't hear. I didn't hear uh, what age she was. But that's what I'm thinking. Anywhere from like 18 to 25. Uh, and I think she's going to be very attractive. I think this is her. She's going to be very attractive um, and a wonderful personality and very happy. Um, that's exactly what I think. Uh, I think she might have blonde, gray, or white hair, um, possibly. Uh, you plug it in how it resonates, but um, I think you're used to being the cat's meow, but now there's about to be a new cat's meow coming to your workspace, and um, it, you're not going to like it very much, whoever you are. Cancer fan. Archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. An architect is about to become very significant in a cancer's life soon. City architect. Okay, I heard a city architect is about to become very significant in a cancer's life soon. City architect. So if this resonates for you, cancer, I think you work for the city. Um, I think you work for the city, whatever city this is. Uh, but I think you work for a city. Um, Cityized area, urban area. Um, I, you might work in urban development, possibly, um, or work with people that work in urban development in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, but um, I think you work for the city or work with people that work for the city um, because a city architect is about to become very significant in one cancer's life. Um, I think you are high level. I think you are wealthy. Uh, or around wealthy people, you're either wealthy or around wealthy people. Um, I don't think, you know, I don't think you deal with slum people. I think you deal with um, high up people in some shape, form, or fashion to do, be dealing with a city architect. And I'm serious about that. So I think the city architect is um, about to help create something in your city or someone's city, probably your city. Um, about to uh, help create something. Maybe you're going to help, um, maybe you help create these arch um, these plans, these archaeotype plans for the um, for the architect. I cannot speak. For the architect, possibly. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. A very significant Fundraiser is about to become very significant. Fundraiser party is about to become very significant at Cancer's life soon. A very significant fundraiser party is about to become very significant in a um, Cancer's life soon. So some kind of fundraiser party. Um, I think you might get invited to this uh, fundraiser party or you're about to help plan this fundraiser party or something of that nature, but some kind of fundraiser party in some shape, form, or fashion, however you're about to be a part of this cancer, um, is about to be significant in your life soon. Beware of greed. A particular prostitute is about to up their price. Know this. And a cancer is about to catch an STD from a prostitute. Oh my lord, why, why there's so much prostitute energy in here? <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> you thought I'd be used to it, but two years I've been reading. Um, but because I've had it in here for two years, but it is what it is. Um so somebody's prostitute 
You could be the prostitute I'm feeling, or you could be utilizing prostitution services from somebody, how that resonates. But somebody's prostitute is about to up their price. Um, and it sounds like significantly. Um, I'm feeling for a lot of you guys, you are utilizing the services from the prostitute because you have beware of greed. So I think you are the one about to get swindled by this prostitute. I mean, I'm serious. I heard they're about to significantly up their price. So just beware of that, um, whoever this is for um and however that resonates and one of you guys is about to catch a std from prostitute so um you plug it in how it resonates let me see if i hear anything else An Aries CEO is about to be asked to be to resign soon from their company. It is about to go very quickly. It is about to shock the hell out of a cancer. But they should have known it was coming. Oh, my Lord. Okay, I heard an Aries CEO. An Aries CEO. So they are a um, chief executive officer of some, of some company. Uh, whatever company that is, I didn't hear specifically what company it is, but they are a chief executive officer. It can be masculine in Aries, but they are a chief executive officer of some company out in the universe. Um, however, this Aries, masculine in Aries resonates in one's life, but I heard they're about to be asked to resign. So they're not just going to embarrass the hell out of them and wrongfully terminate them. Like, you know, I was wrongfully terminated three times in a year. I'm um, just saying. Um, that's embarrassing and degrading to one's career and self. And true story, that happened to me three times in a year from 19, um, 19 to 20. And I'm serious about that. That That's terrible. And that shouldn't happen to anybody. I mean, I wasn't even written up. Not even one time in those companies. Um, and I'm serious about that. But so, of course, I'm not a CEO and never have been. But whoever the CEO is, it's an Aries. They have Aries in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Midhaven, Jupiter, Charts. But I heard they're about to be asked to resign. So they're not just going to embarrass the hell out of them and just wrongfully terminate them and all that crap. They're about to ask them. Something has happened hugely. It uh, sounds like this Aries um, person has done something terrible. They've done something terrible. Sounds like the company has sat, definitely has something on their ass. They're going to ask them to resign before making them resign is what I'm taking from this. They're about to ask them to resign, like give them a chance for them to resign. And if they don't do it, they're going to do it for them. That's what it sounds like to me. But I heard it's going to shock the hell out of you, Cancer, whoever you are connected to this Aries CEO. But I heard it shouldn't because um, you should have known it was coming. So this Aries has definitely done something terrible to, to deserve to be resigned, um, to ask to be resigned is what I'm trying to say. Um, healthcare company. Healthcare company is what just heard. Okay, so they work in a healthcare company. They're a CEO of some kind of healthcare company somewhere out in the universe. This Aries is. Um, but you should have known it was coming, whoever you are, cancer. Um, however that resonates. But it's but like I said, they're gonna ask them to resign. So they're gonna give them the chance to for them to resign. Um, and if they don't do it, it sounds like they're gonna do it for them. Um, I didn't hear exactly what they did, but you plug it in how it resonates. All right, I love you guys so much. Everybody, everyone make wonderful choices and namaste.